seasons changing is always a good time for new lists of entrees, new options, freshening up your recipe library, giving new choices to clients, right? So what I wanted to talk about today was spring has sprung pretty much everywhere across the country now that we're in June. And let's talk about not only some specific recipes I'm going to give you, but just how to think about recipes and your recipe library in general so that you can always keep your clients with fresh options to choose from, even if they choose the same things week after week after week which yes, some do. Hey, Chef Shelly here. I've been a personal chef for over 17 years with my own successful business. And when I'm not cooking for clients, I help passionate cooks just like you start your own personal chef business. So you can do meal prep or small catering or cooking classes and build your business the way you want to be and be successful at it. So let's talk about spring, right? Has your cooking changed a little bit? Are you feeling a little lighter? Are you starting to strive for foods that are lighter too, instead of some of the more heavier comforts that we're coming out of winter from? Enjoying them too, but just like feeling the need for a change. Well, your clients might be too. And again, even if they choose not to take advantage of it, you definitely should be giving them fresh choices on a regular basis. So what I'm going to share with you today is four different recipes that you can not only incorporate into your recipe library if you want to exactly the way they are or tweak them to make them your own, but also why they're good so that you can start looking at new recipes and just kind of get in that mindset of how it could work best in your business and for clients whose taste might be different. All right. So the first one we're going to talk about today is peanut noodles. Do you love my low tech thing here? I'm not going to take 50 hours to edit a video and have stuff come flying in next to me when I can just do this and you can see it and we can move along quicker because that's what it's all about, right? We want to get to the cooking part, not this part. So anyway, peanut noodles. The fantastic things about this one are if your client has a peanut allergy, you can easily make this into sesame noodles by using tahini instead of using peanut butter, right? If your client is gluten free, you can use any one of the millions now of alternative, really alternative pastas that you just use a different type of flour, you know, beans, all sorts of different things. Or you can go full on just to zoodles or something else as an alternative for the noodles. It's super easy to make vegan or vegetarian. If you're going for vegan, you're going to want to check all those little Asian sauce add-ins to make sure that there's no pesky fish hanging out in there that would keep your dish from truly being vegan. And if they're not vegan, then add some grilled chicken or shrimp, super easy. And if the family's divided, as happens a lot, it's a great dish that the vegetarians or vegans can have a complete meal from it. And you can do a side of a protein if there are meat eaters that have to have it. So that's why that's a fantastic dish to use for your meal prep and your personal chef business, because it's infinitely variable to matter, no matter what that specific client might need. And that is a great thing to look for in recipes, is that one basic recipe that can be easily adjusted and still be fantastic. Nobody, no matter what their need is, is gonna feel like they're getting cheated or missing out on something if you tweak that recipe for them. All right, here's recipe number two. Dilly brown sugar glazed salmon. Now this is a different recipe or it's a recipe that's fantastic for your personal chef business and doing meal prep, but in an entirely different way. It's not even that you would tweak it, but dill is a fantastic spring herb to use. Some of your clients may have never even had a lot of fresh dill instead of the Dried dill is just one of those herbs that's just not good to use dried. You know what I mean? It just loses everything magical that fresh dill has. You know what I'm talking about, you passionate home food cook you. So 
It's a great dish too to incorporate into your meal prep services because it cooks super fast, salmon fillets do, and because salmon is a little bit fattier fish than some of the more leaner white fishes, it can reheat very well when you give your client proper reheating instructions. That is always a key part of helping your clients in loving their meal prep service is making sure that they understand the best way to reheat every dish so they're experiencing it just as deliciously as they are when it's fresh. Okay. Third today on our great recipes for meal prep is the pulled chicken sandwich, a little barbecue, barbecue chicken sandwich, pulled chicken, pulled barbecue chicken, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are. So a fantastic thing about this dish is it can be perfect because you're longing for those flavor of summers, but the weather might not quite be there yet. And this is a great dish that you can do without having to rely on going outside to the grill in the pouring down rain or the thunderstorm or the freak snowstorm that might have come through that just happens on your cook day, right? So you can prepare the chicken for this in the slow cooker, chicken breast, boneless, skinless, cook in a slow cooker in only about two hours. And the beauty of that is you're freeing up all your burners and all your oven so that you could get other dishes started and finished while that chicken's cooking. And that really helps you speed up your cook day, right? So another great thing about this is you can easily make it gluten-free just by subbing in a specific type of bun and it's just a family favorite. Kids love it. Adults love it. They can, you can easily add things like a fresh slaw or quick pickles, whatever your sort of specialty is, whatever you like to do special for your clients to make it your own. You can make the barbecue sauce a little spicier, a little more mild if they don't like spice at all. Again, it's a great one that's very friendly for all sorts of different tastes that you can tweak to make it exactly the way your client likes it, all right? And finally, here's one that's a little bit different. Have you ever made an icebox cake? These are fantastic, and this is a great thing for you to do, not even as something to charge your client for. I very, very rarely have a client who actually wants desserts, especially if they're trying to eat healthy. But the great thing about this is it's super easy for you to prepare because there is zero cooking. It's great in the warmer months because it comes out of the freezer. You can, if you notice, change up the add-ins. These are patriotic colored M&Ms, which makes it great for Memorial Day or 4th of July, or you could just use regular M&Ms or even chocolate chips, whatever you want. You can use a thousand different kinds of cookies in it. And if you do have a client who is trying to eat healthy but does have a sweet tooth, you can easily make this with low fat, low sugar, sugar free ingredients or whatever they need. So it's a fantastic thing that you can make up really, really fast in your cook day to give your client a little gift and a little something extra just to let them know how much you appreciate them. So some of the things that you can do with this when we come to these season changes and you're feeling like starting to cook different things, always be growing your recipe library. Take these recipes that I'm going to give you and make them your own. Again, it doesn't matter if you cook vegan or gluten-free or whatever it is. There's a lot of different options from these things that I'm showing you. And always be mastering your techniques, whether that's how you're going to prepare the salmon and it's broiling fish fillets, or whether it's going to be grilling them, or whether it's going to be sauteing chicken breasts. There are always techniques that you can be mastering because from that technique, you can make thousands of dishes, right? And this is some of the easiest ways to really grow your recipe library. So I'm going to put a link below where you can download those recipes if you want them. And if you want to start practicing your own on how to do meal prep for paying clients and you haven't already, there's a link below this video to get my free guide on how to do meal prep for paying clients. 
because get your practice in. I'm telling you, the clients are out there and they are hungry for what you're cooking.